Hey guys, meet my new friend, the alphabet shark. Join us as my friend shows us the letters of the alphabet. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R T U V W X Y Z Let's go through the alphabet again. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Thanks for coming and thank you Mr. Shark for helping us learn the letters. See you next time. Goodbye. Red Blue Black Yellow Pink Green Brown Purple Orange Gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. One apple. Two oranges. Three balls. Four squares. Five clocks.
six spaceships. Seven tables. Eight birds. Nine roses. Ten dogs. Hey kids, welcome to space. Today we're going to learn how to count to ten. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Great job! Thanks for coming, guys. Hello, kids. I am the number one, and I would like to know if you can help me today. Will you guys help me? Great! Thank you so much. Today I'm helping deliver letters, and we'll need to know how to count to ten. To start, let's count the numbers from one to ten. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome! Let's do it one more time, then we can help deliver the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that we know the numbers, let's deliver the letters to the mailboxes. This mailbox is mine. It is for the number one. Which letter goes in my mailbox? It needs to be the number one. This letter has the number one on it, so it goes into the number one mailbox. This is the mailbox for number two. Which letter belongs in the number two's mailbox? This letter has the number two on it, so it goes into the number two's mailbox. Great job! This is the mailbox for number three. Which letter has the number three on it? This letter has the number three on it, so this one belongs in the number three's mailbox. Here is another mailbox, and it has the number four on it. 
Which letter has the number 4 on it? This is the number 4, so this letter goes in the number 4's mailbox. Good job again. We are at the mailbox for number 5. Which letter has the number 5 on it? You got it! This is the number 5. Great job! This mailbox is for the number 6. Which letter has the number 6 written on it? Correct again. This letter has the number 6 on it. We are at another mailbox, and this one is for the number 7. Which letter belongs to the number 7? This letter has the number 7 on it. Great job, kids! This is my friend's mailbox. He is the number 8. Which of these two letters belongs in the number 8 mailbox? You are right. It is this letter. This letter has the number 8 on it, and I am sure he will be excited to get a letter. Here is the mailbox for the number 9. Can you tell me which letter belongs in the number 9's mailbox? This is the right letter because it has the number 9 on it. Last of all, we have the number 10. Which letter belongs to the number 10? This is the letter for the number 10. Great job, kids! We did awesome! Let's look at each mailbox and read the numbers. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Woohoo! You guys are amazing! Keep learning and share this video with all your friends. I am going to go read my letter. Goodbye! Hello kids! I am the number one, and I am here to get your help to learn about more and fewer. Can you help me learn about these words? Great! That is so awesome! Thank you for your help. Let's get started! Here on this table we have apples and bananas. Which do you like more, apples or bananas? I love both of these fruits and they are going to help us learn about more and fewer. We have one apple here, but I am really hungry. I think I can eat more than one apple. If I want to eat more than one apple, do I want more apples or fewer apples? Great job! I want more apples, not fewer. Now I have more apples. If we count these apples, I have one, two, three, four apples. We have four apples on the table. I am hungry for apples, but I cannot eat all these apples. I need to take some away. If I take some away, will I have more or fewer apples? Correct! I will have fewer apples. Right now I have four apples, and I am going to take two away. Now I have fewer apples than before. Isn't math awesome? Let's look at this side of the table and see what's over here. There are two sets of fruit here. On the top we have bananas, and on the bottom we have apples. We have more bananas than apples. When you count them, we see that we have three bananas and two apples. There are more bananas than apples. Now, we don't have as many bananas. We have one banana and two apples. Now there are fewer or less bananas than apples. Let's look at another one. Are there more bananas than apples here? Pause the video and do your best. The answer is no. There are fewer bananas than apples. Let's try one more. Are there fewer apples than bananas here? Pause the video and do your best. The answer is yes. There are fewer apples than bananas. If we count them, we see that we have one, two, three, four apples, and we have one, two, three, four, 
five bananas, and five is more than four, so we have fewer apples than bananas. I hope you had fun learning more and fewer with me. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, kids. Today we are learning about our emotions. One of the things I struggle with is controlling my emotions. Sometimes I am out at recess and I go to play Foursquare, but the other kids will not let me play. That makes me mad, and I get so mad I just want to scream. <coughs> Learning how to control our emotions is very important and will help us in many things we do in life. Let me tell you the story of my friend, Mr. Box. Mr. Box is a lot like us because we all have strong emotions and we need to learn how to control and deal with our emotions. Mr. Box did not learn how to control his emotions, and you will see what happened. Mr. Box was at recess, and they would not let him play Foursquare, just like me. This made him kind of angry, which is a strong emotion. So he had this anger emotion bouncing around inside him, but did not do anything to calm himself down. Then later on in the day, he raised his hand to answer a question and got the answer wrong in front of the entire class. Even though that is just fine, another kid made fun of him and that made him embarrassed. So now he has another emotion bouncing around inside of him. The next day, he still had not calmed down and was even madder. At lunchtime, everyone lined up and Mr. Box was first in line, but he did not get chosen as the line leader, and this made him sad. So now he has more strong emotions bouncing around inside of him. At the end of the day, they were coloring, and someone used his favorite color that was on his desk. It was his crayon that he brought from home, and someone took it. So one more emotion bounced around inside of him, but it was just too much to handle, and he... <laughs> he exploded. Mr. Box did not try to control his emotions. We are like Mr. Box because we can get lots of strong emotions built up inside of us, but when we explode, we do different things. We can hurt people by hitting or even calling them names. These are not good things, and this is why we need to control our emotions. There are many ways to help us control our emotions, like counting to 10, thinking before reacting, getting help from a teacher or parent, or even talking to ourselves about the problem. Talk with your class about what you can do to control your emotions so you do not explode and hurt people. You guys have fun. I am going to put Mr. Box back together and teach him how to control his emotions so he will not explode again. Goodbye. Hey kids, we are here at an alphabet maze. To get through the maze, we need to learn the alphabet. Will you help me get through the maze? Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, let's go. A. Here's the letter A. Say it with me. A. B. Here's the letter B. Say it with me. B. C. Here's the letter C. Say it with me. C. D. Here's the letter D. Say it with me. D. E. Here's the letter E. Say it with me. E. F. Here's the letter F. Say it with me. F. G. Here's the letter G. Say it with me. G. H. Here's the letter H. Say it with me. H. I. Here's the letter I. Say it with me. I. J. Here's the letter J. Say it with me. J. K. Here's the letter K. Say it with me. K. L. Here's the letter L. Say it with me. L. M. 
Here's the letter M. Say it with me. M. N. Here's the letter N. Say it with me. N. O. Here's the letter O. Say it with me. O. P. Here's the letter P. Can you say it with me? P. Q. Here's the letter Q. Can you say it with me? Q. R. Here's the letter R. Can you say it with me? R. S. Here's the letter S. Can you say it with me? S. T. Here's the letter T. Can you say it with me? T. U. Here's the letter U. Can you say it with me? U. V. Here's the letter V. Can you say it with me? V. W. Here's the letter W. Can you say it with me? W. X. Here's the letter X. Can you say it with me? X. Y. Here's the letter Y. Can you say it with me? Y. Z. Here's the letter Z. Can you say it with me? Z. Great job, guys. We made it through the maze. Thanks for your help. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hi, kids. Today we're going to count by twos. Say the numbers with me as we take them off the train. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Let's count them again. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Great job, kids. We'll see you next time. Welcome, kids, to the shape train. Let's learn some shapes. Heart. Triangle. Circle. Pentagon. Oval. Hexagon. Octagon. Star. Square. Rectangle. Thanks for the train ride. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hey kids, how are you doing today? I am inside the shape vending machine. You put coins in and shapes come out. Want to get some shapes with me? Great, just push the button and... Uh-oh. Ouch. To get a shape, we need to put in the correct amount of coins. I would like a heart shape. Let's put in one coin for the heart shape. This is a heart. Now we can get the circle shape. The circle is one coin also. 
This is a circle. We can also buy the triangle. The triangle costs three coins. This is a triangle. Next up to buy is a square. The square costs four coins. This is a square. The rectangle costs four coins as well. Let's put in four coins to get the rectangle. This is a rectangle. Now we can buy the pentagon. We need five coins for the pentagon. This is a pentagon. I would like to buy the oval shape. The oval shape costs just one coin. This is an oval. The hexagon is worth six coins. Let's buy the hexagon. This is a hexagon. For my last purchase, I want to buy the octagon. The octagon is worth eight coins. This is an octagon. Thank you for shopping for shapes with me. We cleaned out the shape machine and learned new shapes. Have a great day. Goodbye. There once was a baby number one, you see. A number that was just as cute as can be. But one day the small number was feeling quite sad. What is wrong, my number one? said the dad. I have here this clock and it doesn't make any sense. There's numbers and pointers and small lines that I see and my diaper is stinky. Will you change it for me? Oh my little number, do not worry or fret. You will learn about clocks, yes you can bet. So the dad explained about clocks and about time. Now keep on listening to this really bad rhyme. Learning clocks can be easy and fun, said the dad to the number one. The numbers that go round the clock count up to 12, my son. These pointers you see that spin round the clock help us to know the hours and minutes. They call these pointers hands. Yes, the hands of the clock point to hours and minutes. The long hand tells us the minutes and each line round the clock counts as one. With 60 minutes making up one hour, learning time can be fun. The hour hand is the small shorter hand that you see. Well, look at that. The hour hand is pointing at three. The hour hand moves quite slower than the minute hand as it goes round the clock. When it moves over the next number, a new hour starts on the spot. So we know the hour by where the small hand is at, and the long hand tells us the minute. That's that. But Daddy, there is more to learn and more fun to be had. Please tell me more. Please, oh please, Dad. Oh, my number one son, how I will teach you more. Please do not worry, there are more videos in store. Why we have more videos on clocks in addition, enough videos to calm the largest ambition. But before we continue and learn even more, your diaper, it reeks even worse than before. So to all who are listening, I give you a bribe. To gain more knowledge, click the red button, subscribe. We have tons more videos and add videos each week, so please subscribe and share the videos with all your friends. Hey kids, let's count to 100 by tens. 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 Great job! Let's count them again. Count with me. 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 
90, 100. Amazing job, kids. Thank you for your help. See you next time. Goodbye. Hi, kids. Let's count from 10 to 20. 10. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. One more time. 10. 11. 12. 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Thanks, guys. See you next time. January February March April May June July August, September, October, November, December. One more time. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. December. Come learn about days of the week with us. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Let's see them again. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. 
Friday, Saturday. Thanks for learning with us. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Zero plus one equals one. One plus one equals two. Two plus one equals. Three. Three plus one equals four. Four plus one equals five. Five plus One equals six. Six plus one equals seven. Seven plus one equals eight. Eight plus one equals nine. Nine plus one equals ten. Great job! Hey kids, come swim with me in the number eel. We're going to learn about some numbers today. Help us count to twenty. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Let's swim through them again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Great job! Thank you, Number Eel. We will see you next time. Goodbye. There once lived a robot as plain as can be, who hated his gym class, as you will see. 
This sad little robot was the color of red, from the tips of his engines to the top of his head. Now being this color should cause no alarm, but in the same class there were some who liked to cause harm. The blue ones thought they were the best of them all. They played with each other and liked to play ball. They never shared with the little red robot and even went out of their way to tease him. They made fun of his color and said he was dumb. The ball hit him again with a smack on his bum. A situation like this never seemed so bleak, until a new robot showed up that same week. The robot was different in color and size. He was green all around with green glowing eyes. Little Red Robot knew what would happen. Because this robot was different, he would be teased too. And sure enough, the teasing began. They made fun of his color and poked fun at his eyes, but the robot just laughed and said, that's no surprise. I would expect no better from these types of guys. The green robot left them and happily played, flying round the gym where the red robot stayed. How could this be, said the robot in red. None of their insults got into his head. He does not seem sad or angry or mad. In fact, I would say he appears to be glad. The green robot flew by with a ball. Wait, little green robot, he started to call. Those blue robots were mean, unkind, and unfair. But you go around as if you don't care. Please tell me how you stay so happy when others can be so mean to you. The green robot explained and said with a smile, I know what I'm worth, and I knew all the while. I do not believe anything that they said. So the words had no effect and bounced right off my head. You are worth more than diamonds or gold. You are worth more than fortunes untold. We all come in different shapes, colors, sizes, and more. And kindness is what we all should try for. So remember, my friend, that others may tease, but knowing your true worth will put you at ease. Though I may be small and you may be tall, my question for you is, do you like to play ball? Remember that kindness starts with you. Please share and help others to learn kindness too. You have a few options here. You can click the video on my right or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh-oh. Uh